California Congresswoman Judy Chu joins us now. She's the chair of the Congressional Asian Caucus. Uh, Madam Chair, good to see you. You know, Paul, as you heard there, saying that Senate Republican support, like AOTS, may pass the bill in the Senate, but it's the House where the real middle will be found. Do you agree with that? I think that uh, the Senate bill shows that you can reach a compromise. And it is my hope that uh, House Republicans will see that this is the right bill to pass. Will you do as he asked? Will, will some members of the House go to him to find that middle ground? I believe that they will. There already is a bipartisan group in the House. There are various pieces of legislation going through. Obviously, the House will have to have input into the overall bill. But I do believe that the Senate is doing a solid thing by getting that compromise ahead of time. Now, what's your thought here? You know, when you see uh, senators like uh, Senator Rand Paul become more involved in the immigration bill, does that help or hurt the process? Uh, moves forward into a crucial bunch of weeks ahead. He is willing to engage, so that's great. But I, I tell you, I was the most encouraged by Senator Ayotte's announcement today. To me, that says that. Uh, that senators are thinking very carefully about this and people on the Republican side are saying that this is something that must be done. Yeah, because border security was one of the key elements of the immigration reform bill for Senator Ayotte and she was, her vote was in play. Did that surprise you when she came out this morning on a Sunday to say, I am now for it? I was very encouraged uh, and uh, I would say that it shows the good work that the Senate is doing to move this bill forward. You know, on uh, Univision this morning, Republican Senator Marco Rubio, who is part of the Senate's gang of eight, as you well know, he said this, and we translate, he says, we'll have a lot more than 60 votes, but we're going to have to work at it. So we've seen him kind of go back and forth uh, on the bill that he helped to uh, uh, actually write that is being considered. Does 70 senators saying yes mean more to your Republican colleagues in the House than, say, 60? I would very much hope for a supermajority of votes on the Senate. I think it would send a great signal to House Republicans that this is a viable bill. Is he being presumptuous, though, perhaps in, in counting uh, those chicks before they hatch? Well, it, it can only be a good thing to have that kind of a strong vote. It, it, it would be unprecedented, especially for something like immigration, which hasn't gone forward in two decades. Uh, we need to have that strong vote, and I believe House Republicans, of course, will have their input, but it will start in the Senate. Now, you re recently wrote uh, about your disappointment in the family provisions taken out of the Senate bill, and, and you wrote this in Politico in an op-ed, quote, like any compromise, important provisions were lost in the give and take of negotiations. The current bill is weakened by the fact that it limits the ability for some parents to bring their children here, and it eliminates the right for siblings to sponsor their brothers and sisters, end quote. Is this part a deal breaker for you? I still am hopeful that we can have the sibling category as well as the adult married children category fully contained within the bill. Uh, we are pushing as hard as we can. I do have to say, though, that the Senate bill has many good things that will provide so much relief for immigrants across this nation, especially in its reduction of the family visa backlogs. Would you vote yes to the bill as it stands right now? As it stands now, I believe that uh, it does provide so much relief, and yes, I, I would support it. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, Congresswoman Judy Chu, appreciate your time.